In this video, we're going to talk about some of the different ways in which the new uh, menu object that can be opened in a UX and Grid component can be populated. So in previous videos, we've shown how you can use the Menu Builder to define the choices in the menu. And you can see here, um, we're looking at an existing menu that was defined using the Menu Builder. But let's go ahead now and create another button, and this time use uh, the JSON um, string object. So I'm going to go there and create another uh, button called say menu 2 and we'll go here to action JavaScript and we'll add in our menu and this time basically we'll choose the static JSON string so now we can bring up the builder and we can define the JSON ourselves or we can insert some sample JSON so let's insert this JSON here and then uh, run it and then come back and explain it so we'll go ahead now and uh, hit save, go over to working preview, click on the menu and you can see there's our menu has just opened up. So let's go back now and take a look at the JSON. So we can see here that we have an array, uh, so those are the square brackets, and then inside the array we have an array of JSON objects and each JSON object defines um, an entry in the tree. So the first entry in the tree has um, an HTML label of A, so let's just go here and change this to XXX so we can actually see what's going on. Um, then we have an on-click event which says you clicked uh, on A. We have an optional icon for the, uh, for the menu item. And then since this menu item has children, we have a property called children and then children is an array of JSON objects. So these JSON objects over here are the same JSON objects that define uh, any other menu item. So this JSON object here represents the uh, entire structure of the menu. So if I wanted to go, for example, and define an on-click event for this uh, C3 there, I would just, uh, just copy that uh, to the clipboard, put in a comma over there, um, tab in uh, and uh, type in say C3 click the OK button go ahead now and uh, run it and now I can go here and uh, uh, and then click on C3 and uh, there's my menu handler so uh, defining a JSON string is the second way in which you can define the choices in a um, in a menu object and now let's take a look at the third third method so let's go put uh, yet another button over here and uh, again I'll choose action JavaScript to create a menu but this time I'm going to choose to use the xbasic function. So I'm going to go here and choose xbasic function and then I'll go there and call it say xb1 and uh, if I want I can bring up this um, smart field here and look at some sample code. So this is um, sample xbasic that generates the uh, dynamic menu so I'll just um, copy this code to the clipboard and I click OK save this and then go now and uh, go to my xbasic functions definition over here and uh, paste in my code and uh, so let's um, if we read the, so the code here we can see that the comments tell us that there's two different ways in which you can generate the xbasic one is um, to create a, an alpha 5 xbasic array uh, that has nested arrays and it's a property array so there are properties in the array like HTML and on click etc and then use uh, the var to JSON function but the simpler method is to just simply use the helper function uh, called uh, tree to JSON so let's go ahead and uh, uncomment this and now turn ahead go ahead and actually run it so we'll save it now uh, click this and now click the button and you can see that on our Ajax callback we generated a menu. Now the icon there is not showing up because in our code we just created uh, meaningless uh, image names. But here you can see that the power, the full power of XBasic can be used to dynamically generate the menu in an Ajax uh, callback. Thanks very much for watching.